Hello, welcome back to the Future Lore channel. Since this is an era of innovation and mega projects, today we'll talk about five mega projects of futuristic cities that you've not heard of so far. You'll surely be delighted, perhaps for some projects surprised. So be sure to sit comfortably and enjoy the video. But before it starts, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the notification button to be notified when the new video is released. If you've done all this, let's get started. Here is our list of five mega projects of future cities. Let's see together which cities they are. Number five, Jingjinji, China. What lies in Beijing's shadow? Tianjin and Hebei surround the areas of Beijing, but not as much is known about these provinces. Soon, this is about to change. The provinces are about to become a bigger part of the capital's future. A mega project which started in 2013 aims to create an economic powerhouse by linking the three regions together. This city will cover an area of 200,000 square kilometers and will have a population of about 100 million, which is larger than a third of the United States. And it is planned to build this city by 2050. The government wishes to develop roads and railways to provide citizens with a one-hour commute circle around the entire area. This will allow for multiple cities to function as one, meaning better administration, development, and economy. Creating a megacity the same size as Scotland and England stuck together will hopefully improve Beijing's congestion by redistributing industries and talent. In doing so, Beijing intends to limit its population to 23 million by 2020. Number 4. Sino Singapore Tianjin, China. What was once a dumping ground for toxic waste is soon to become the world's largest eco city. Sino Singapore Tianjin Eco City, located in China, is purposely being built on wasteland according to the head of the city's development and investment. Construction began on 28 September, and the area of the city is 30 square kilometers. The city will have a population of 350,000 and at least 50% of the residents will have jobs within the city. Renewable energy will account for at least 20% of the energy used here from solar, wind, and geothermal energy, which is the use of the Earth's core temperature. There is a focus on eliminating the need for cars, too. Nearly all of the traffic in the area will be public transport, with pathways making it easy to cycle or walk, as well as pneumatic waste collection tunnels that will remove the need for rubbish trucks and bin men. One thing that makes this city different is its green spaces throughout the city and reed beds and lakes. Emphasizing the livability of humans and animals, which Ho Tong Yen says has been ignored in the past. Number 3. Pena Station Next, Denver, Colorado According to the president of Panasonic Enterprise Solutions, Jim Doyle, they won't be building a copycat town of Fujisawa. Construction began in 2016 and should be completed in 2016. Panasonic is looking to create a town that is unique to Denver. The developers are aware that there are massive cultural differences and what works in Japan may not work in the US. One thing they will take from Fujisawa though is a wellness center. These facilities will encourage inhabitants to live healthier lives. Panasonic wants to use smart skills and smart blood pressure monitors, so if you can't make it to the doctor's office, they can remotely check on you. Another great use of technology in this futuristic city is their system called Road X. This amazing tech will allow vehicles in the town's road to communicate, meaning fewer accidents and less traffic. The system can suggest to drivers the best route to take based on real-time traffic. Clean energy and sustainability are on the cards too. With Colorado's sun to its advantage, rooftop solar panels will be abundant, as well as the city's microgrid that will store excess solar energy for backup. Panasonic, which is looking to move its headquarters to the new town, plans on forming a 112,000 square foot building. The headquarters will be decked in solar panels, powering more than 300 employees. Number 2. Quayside, Toronto Google's sister company, Sidewalk Labs, plans to transform Toronto's Quayside into a futuristic mini-city. Toronto's lack of affordable housing, which is an ongoing problem for people in Toronto, should be conquered with this new vision. Sidewalk Labs intends to use the new construction methods to create buildings that are quicker, eco-friendly, and cheaper. The community also plans to be self-sufficient, generating 10% of its power. Half of the roof space will be covered in solar panels, fueling the technology and electric cars in the city. 
One of the more unique and ambitious parts of this neighborhood is the use of new technology. The city will employ weather tech to heat pathways for snow conditions, as well as using retractable canopies for other climates. High tech won't just stop at the surface. Exciting mechanics will run underneath the town too. Robots will serve underground corridors, carrying utilities and waste. However, the smart city has amassed huge privacy concerns. With all the sensors and algorithms planned for the city, critics fear the mounting data that will be collected. Even if there are excellent privacy policies, these can always be changed, for better or worse. Number 1. New Clark City, Philippines This new city is engineered to overcome Mother Nature. What doesn't help in the country's situation is the capital being on a major fault line. This makes Manila the world's fourth most at risk of disasters. The location of New Clark City could be the country's saving grace as it will not be near any fault lines, mountains will surround it, and it will be highly elevated, thus protecting it from floods and typhoons. Because of this, the new city could save the Philippines $101.09 billion in damages. The city plans to overcome natural disasters with a disaster-produced material, lahar. This unique locally sourced material is a type of mud flow formed by volcanoes. Using lahar and concrete makes even the creation of this new city eco-friendly. It lessens the need for concrete, which takes up a lot of sources in the production. The capital of the Philippines, Manila, is well known for its traffic jams, which is one of the reasons why the city has a concerning air pollution problem that affects 98% of the residents. To tackle this growing problem, the Philippines wants to build a city that doesn't rely on cars. That's where New Clark City comes in. This futuristic city will be largely pedestrianized with effective public transportation, cutting down the need for cars. The beginning of construction of this city was in 2016, and the completion is planned for 2050. The city will have 1.12 million residents and 800,000 workers. A pretty big population, right? Well, how do you feel about these mega projects? Which one is your favorite? Tell us in the comments, because we'd like to know. At the very end, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one and see you again soon.